Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and today is going to be my May monthly makeup bag. This is kind of like a shop my stash only what this is is these are the products that I've been using all month long already and the reasons why I've been reaching for them, why I've been loving them, and why I can't seem to put them down. So if that is something that interests you, let's go ahead and dive into my May monthly makeup bag. So to start with, I do already have my sunscreen on. It's the Beauty of Josen sunscreen, and I do already have my primer on. It's the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. These are nothing new. I've used them for the last five months, and I'm just trying to work my way through them. But what I have been loving this month is the new Essence Skin Tint. And you guys, I really, really like this. Like this has replaced my Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream and you guys know how obsessed I was with that. But this is the Hydrating Natural Finish Light to Medium Coverage and it has an SPF 30 in it. I do have the shade 20, which looks like it's gonna be a little dark for me, but it's not, it's perfect. Now I will say the first time I tried this on, I did not like it. It was just, too cakey, it sat into lines, it was not okay. And even with my primer, it sat into lines. But I gave it another go, and what I found is a less is more. If you put too much of this on, it is not a buildable formula. If you put too much on, it's gonna start looking cakey. But this has a beautiful, heavy light. Does that make sense? Light coverage. It's a light coverage, but it's on the heavier side of light coverage, if that makes sense. And it's gorgeous on the skin. And I do apply this with a sponge, and I just like the way it looks. You're not gonna get full coverage or even medium coverage. Definitely a light coverage with this, but it just has this skin-like quality that gives your skin just a little bit of extra life, extra glow, extra coverage, just a little bit more. And I, I really like this. I actually like this better than my Iconic London um, skin tint that I have been using for a while. I thought that was my favorite skin tint, but this and the price point for this. Now I did buy this from a European shop, so I will have to do the conversion and tell you guys on the screen how much this co would cost in USD, but it's not available in the US yet. I really hope they bring it to the US. I don't know why we get Essence launches so much later than everybody else, but we seem to. But I tend to just buy them from a European shop and I, I think it's gorgeous. So this is what that looks like on my Skin. And it, like I said, it's just skin like. It is not overly like coverage. It just adds a little bit of something to your skin. If you want your skin to show through, this is this is it. This is beautiful. I love it. My concealer I'm using is again nothing new. It's the NARS concealer. I'm using my Ego2 Tools concealer brush with this. And I know a lot of people do not use this under the eyes. I say this in every monthly makeup bag. I happen to think it's beautiful under the eyes. Uh, it's a lot thicker, so it does give, um, it doesn't sink into the lines the way a liquid tends to. It's, it's, it just, for some reason, it just glides over my under eyes and looks really good. So I'm still using this, still loving this, and I'm actually, like, I don't know if you can see, but I've made a really big dip in that. So for my powder, I've been being a little bit extra. I've been using my Makeup Revolution, the um, loose setting powder at the bottom, but because the lid is so weird, I've been taking it and putting it in the e.l.f. powder lid here and then applying it. That way I can use it the way I normally would a loose powder and not have to worry about it. And if I sound out of breath, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to run downstairs and run back up because I forgot this powder downstairs. Oops. So this is what my skin looks like with this skin tint powdered. I just like it. I feel like it looks like skin and I love that this has an SPF 30 in it. I realize SPF 30 and how much of this I would have to put on to get that SPF. That is why I also still use my Beauty of Josen sunscreen. This is not my sole SPF but I like that it has that just extra protection, especially going into the summertime. So you guys are gonna be so proud of me. I finally repressed my Floret contour palette, and this is all that is left of it. I am so excited. That is actually pretty flat, and if you can't tell over in this corner here, 
I have actually a re-hit pan. It is so flat. It is almost gone and by my next makeup bag in July, I should be using something else and this should be definitely gone. But I have loved this contour palette and I love it a bit more now that I've repressed it because I was swirling all three shades together and now it's just it goes on the color that I want it to go on every time now that I've repressed it. I just love it. It's like perfect for my skin tone and it's not too muddy like it's not too warm it's not too cool it is a true neutral color on me and I do appreciate that. So that will be gone by next month. I'm saying that now. I'm putting it out there in the universe that that will be gone. All right, so to be truthful, my blushes have rotated this month quite a lot. I used three heavily, but two have been my favorite. Ooh, there's a bird outside my window. Okay, and the first one is going to be the MAC Glow Play Blush in So Natural. I've really been liking this one lately, just for a beautiful wash of color, very natural makeup. Love that. The other blush is in the Rainforest Temptations Tarte palette here, and it's this shade that is in the middle right here, and that is the shade Bitten. And you guys, I've really been enjoying this one too. This one is a lot more deeper in color and shows up a lot more on my skin, so if I'm looking for a really blushed look, I use this one. But I've been using this palette on my eyes a lot, so sometimes I just use this blush also because it's there and it's convenient. But for today, I am going to use the MAC Glow Play Blush. And I use just an angled brush here to apply it. These brushes, if you guys are curious, I get them on Amazon and I just, I like them. They're inexpensive, they come in a set and they work. So it meets, it meets all of my criteria for makeup brushes. Just going for that naturally blushed look, not overly pink, not overly orange. It's a beautiful color. I know a lot of people rave about this MAC blush. I can see why, it's gorgeous. All right, let me do my eyebrows real quick off camera. The things that I use in my eyebrows never change. It's the Meld Eyebrow Pencil and the Essence Make Me Brow, and I will be right back. So for my eyes, like I said, I have been using this palette a lot this month. It's a Tarte Rainforest Temptations Eye and Cheek palette. You guys, it's just really, really pretty. I use it very, very quickly, very, very easily on the go. Usually it is this shade here, Tempt, along with this shade here, Entrance. And I'll throw the blush on and it's just a pretty, it's, it, it's a pretty easy neutral look. The other palette I've been using is another Tarte palette, and it is the Tarte Tartelette in Bloom. We all know what this looks like, as you guys can see. I've made a pretty big dip in this shade over here in the corner, and again, it's a pretty much a two shadow look. I use Smart Pants right here in the crease, this one in the corner, and then I'll use this one to kind of blend out underneath my brow bone and maybe in the inner corner to highlight it. Again, easy, quick. I love these two palettes. It doesn't take a lot of blending and this has just been the name of the game this month is quick easy eye looks and bold lips which we're getting to the lips we all know I love my lipsticks so we're getting to the lips but I'm going to be using this palette here today just because the tartlet and bloom is talked about still to this day on YouTube a lot however this one here did not get a lot of hype and I think it's gorgeous when it came out I was still living in South Carolina and these colors here were just screaming summer to me but these are also sultry summer night colors you have them both there and and I really dig that about this palette. And the mirror here is awesome. Like, <laughs> that mirror is awesome. So I'm going to go into the shade Tempt. Like I said, I use this one just in the crease. It does not take a lot. This Tempt shade is pretty pigmented. I'm gonna take Entranced here on my finger and just pop it on my eye. And you guys, this shade is gorgeous. And this shade on the eyes just makes my eyes pop. I love how wide awake my eyes look when I put this on. And it's just two shades, real quick, real easy. Like, this shade right here, awesome. So the mascara that I've been using this month is the Maybelline Firework Mascara. And I do love the wand there, but I've been using this most of the month and you can tell how gunked up it's getting inside because I have to wipe a lot of the product off. It is such a wet formula and it comes out so 
thick on the brush and it drives me crazy to be honest with you. I do not like how clumpy the tube is getting and how messy that gets right there. Especially because when I go to put the wand back in, it's kind of oozing out because there's so much product right there. But the way this looks, like can, we can already see a difference and that is just one light coat. It's a beautiful mascara on and I love the way it looks and I love the look I can get from this. I just don't like how messy it is. But the look is so pretty, I definitely, like, I'm putting up with the messiness just so I can use this mascara. And it stays on. It stays on during my 8-hour workday. And you guys, I absolutely love and adore this mascara. Just, you know, that, that one thing right there. And you can see right here I have it on and here I don't. It really goes with that natural makeup that I've been going for lately. So I have done both of these eyes without dipping this wand back into the mascara. That is how wet this formula is. And I like the look that it gives. It's just, like I said, it's a very wet and it comes out very clumpy. It is definitely one that you have to wipe off a lot of the excess product for. All right, you guys, I have five lip products I've been loving this month. And this one right here has probably been my favorite just because it's really easy to go on, but it gives a bright color that I love. And it is the Essence Heartcore Fruity Lip Balm. And this is the strawberry one, Sweet Strawberry. And I love this because it's that bright color that I like, but so easy to apply. However, I have also been loving the Hush Little Beige from Wet n Wild. And then these are newer to me, but I have worn each of these at least three times this month. And I have a Brick Road Pink Drink and Nice Spice from the new Essence Slim Stick line. So I think for today, I'm going to be doing the Fruity Lip Balm just because I like it so much. And you guys will see what I'm talking about with the bright color, but easy apply. All right, you guys, these are the makeup bag products for the month of May that I've been using all month long that I've been loving. I will probably continue using through the month of June, but I've really enjoyed these for this month. I've been enjoying this fresh spring makeup look. Tell me what you guys have been using in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.